Like, we're gonna have this nice clear skin journey. It's gonna be like, we're gonna be stress free and it's gonna show in our skin, okay? <laughs> you look at my skin and you're like, damn, like, I need to watch this video. Ooh, ooh. Do I have highlight on, guys? No, I don't. I need to stop. I need to stop. It's a no. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If this is the first video you've seen of me, then hi. <laughs> my name is Taina. It rhymes with hyena. Um, today, I'm going to be doing a highly requested video called my skincare routine. So that is why I'm here coming to you barefaced and bushy-tailed. Oh, it's brown eyed hey? Barefaced. Um, you've seen my bare face a lot um, at the beginning of my makeup videos and on my vlogs. So um, it's going to be kind of three parts to it. So it's the morning right now. Um, actually, it's the afternoon, but your girl just woke up. Anyways, um, and then I'm going to do what I basically do in the morning. And then I'm going to go have my day, do my makeup, everything like that. And then come back and show you what I do at night to take off my makeup and different things like that. But right now, I want to, I just took a shower and um, like my face, like I haven't done anything to my face um, and my skin is freaking out because it gets really dry after I shower or wash it or anything like that. Um, but I do have oily to combination skin. So in the in the summer, my skin is very oily and in the uh, winter, it's kind of combination. It's dry um, along like the this area and then oily in my T-zone. Um, but then after I wash it, it's very dry everywhere and I can feel it and I don't like it. So I'm just gonna get started of what I do in the morning, um, to just quickly, you know, get rid of this dryness. Um, so the first thing, um, I do is I like to use rose water. Um, usually it's just, I don't know, I just think it smells good and it rejuvenates my skin. It also acts as a toner as well. That night I have a kind of a deeper skincare routine. I kind of go through all the stuff because it's been out the whole day. So then in the morning there's not really much to do. So I usually go in straight with my rose water. Um, and I use the Mario Badesco skincare facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water um, before I got this because I just recently got this one before I got that I was just using this rose water and glycerin from Walmart and I put it in this Dollarama bottle it worked just as well so um, honestly either one that you use the only reason I got this one is because yeah this one looked cuter <laughs> then next thing I go in with it's micellar cleansing milk from Sephora it's the rose one um, and I just take a tissue and this takes off anything that like maybe I missed last night or um, in the shower um, so the reason why I do the rose water before this is because the rose water moisturizes my skin so that I don't feel um, all dried up um, I usually just take it with a tissue I put it on there and I just wipe it all over my face and yeah then I go in to moisturize my face for the day there's two moisturizers that I use um, there's so there's this Neutrogena visibly clear pink grapefruit one I use this um, if I can't find this one so this is my goat this is my all-time this is what I normally use I personally really like this one better though especially for the morning for the daytime getting ready to do my makeup um, or even if I'm not doing makeup I will put this on it's the um, Josie Marin Argon daily moisturizer and the reason why I like this is because it also has SPF in it so SPF 47 um, and it smells really good and argon oil is really good for moisturizing your skin and I know I said I had oily skin but it still needs to be moisturized especially after I shower or wash my face it gets really dry like I mentioned before so it's really good for moisturizing your skin, um, and then it also has SPF in it, so it's really good for every day. But anyways, I literally just put this amount on there, um, wipe it, and put it all over my face. So yeah, then I just moisturize my face, and then last but not least, I just do put some chapstick on because my lips get really dry, especially in the winter. My lips are always dry, um, and so I use this, the Vaseline Lip Therapy one that is like the goat, you know, it's like, Vaseline is so great for like everything. Um, it's really great for moisturizing, um, and I hate when it gets underneath my nail, so I use actually the back of my nail for it, and I just put it on. I'm kind of a weirdo. I love Vaseline. But yeah, I'd rather feel like moisturized, like over moisturized than dry, but not oily, you know? And that's basically it. Sometimes I will literally just go outside like this. If I have work in the morning, I'm not doing my makeup, I will just do this. Um, 
and that is it for my morning routine so right now before I go ahead and do my makeup and everything like that um, I'm gonna show you guys all the products that I do have because this is what I use on the daily these face masks that I have like masks I don't do every single day um, but sometimes like these like today if I want to treat my skin or if I don't have work or um, different things like that I will treat myself to a face mask I only do it maybe once a week starting with face masks which I love okay guys like I love face masks um, I mostly love uh, peel off face masks this is the one that I use all the time I use it in my, my makeup video as well this is a Freeman um, peel off mask and revitalizing pomegranate so you can get this at Walmart it's super cheap it comes out in a gel form um, and it's great it's good to go I'm lazy so peel off masks are the best thing for me because I hate washing my face after put on a mask I peel it off and I'm already in bed and like we're good to go um, and that's also why I like these guys like sheets face mask sheets I love them so much so if you watch my other video what I got for Christmas slash Boxing Day haul if you haven't stop go watch it and welcome back so um, I got these two for Christmas which I love because I love sheet masks and the face shop does have a lot of good um, face masks they're super cheap and it comes it only comes with one as well I think yeah, it only comes individually wrapped one, but I love these because I, like I said, I'm lazy. I'll put them on and then I'll be in my room and then I'll take it, I'll take it off in 15 minutes and then just rub in the excess. And then I also have this one as well. It's also a sheet mask. It's called the Gold Spa Treatment Mask. Bright got this for me for my birthday. I've already used it um, three times because um, there was a big pack of them. I've already used three of them and I love them, so it's really good. But yeah, so face masks are a really important part of my skincare routine. I love doing them. I do maybe once a week, but once in a while, um, if I am lazy, but I do still want to do a mask, I will do the peel-off mask. It's the go. It's important to exfoliate your skin at least two or three times a week, just because um, you don't want to get your uh, your pores clogged. Um, I use a lot of toners and, and different things like that. Um, that kind of clears my pores anyways and dissolves the oil, so I don't really need to do it, but it's really important to have something that clears your pores at least weekly but preferably two or three times a week um, but I only have one exfoliant um, and that is called Dark Angels but it's, this is from Lush um, it's a face and body cleanser and it has um, charcoal in it oh it has velvety black sugar charcoal and Rizul mud and it's a cleanser exfoliant so it comes in with these little like chunks just put them like on my hand and then mix it in with some water and then it becomes kind of like a muddy substance and then put it all over my face and then just like scrub it off the only thing is that this is very messy because it's charcoal and and water and sugar and like all this stuff um it's really good for your skin though my skin ends up looking flawless after but it's also very messy it puts like black stuff all over the sink so just be prepared to clean after oh for my toners like I mentioned before my mission my oh my gosh I don't know how to say this whatever Mimisler cleansing milk and then I also have witch hazel and it actually really works it like takes out all the toxins on your skin and at first it seems like it's not working because you start breaking out so it's like flushing detoxing your skin in a way so when I first started using it I was like it's making me break out it's horrible um, but then I kept using it for some reason and then eventually it got a lot better um, this one is astrogen so it dissolves oil and clears pores but it has it's enhanced with which is hazel in it and you can get this at Walmart it's huge but you can see I've already like done like finished half of it um, yeah it's huge and you just put it on like a little tissue or whatever put it on and you just wipe it across your face and you're good to go ultra blend this is like if you watch my other video you'll know that I love this product because I ranted about it for I had to cut things out that's how much I like I love it like a good rant not a bad rant this product is the go okay I've been ever since I started using this my skin has been significantly better um, significantly more moisturized not oily but moisturized and just looks healthier and like glowing um, so it's called Ultra Blend, and it's it's kind of like a thick substance. You put it on your, um, I usually, you can do it to remove your makeup because it is thick. So I use it after I take off my makeup, and I take off my makeup with the Marcel Makeup Cleansing Remover Wipes. It is alcohol-free and scent-free, um, and biodegradable, paraben-free, and hypoallergenic because I do have sensitive skin, and I don't want to put harsh, like, chem chemicals on there, unless it's witch hazel, but I don't want to put, like, super harsh chemicals on it because I will, um break out in hives sometimes the, and these are super cheap at Walmart these are cheaper than the other ones so I'm like oh okay and they didn't make me break out at all so 
it's great. But then I take my Ultra Blend after. What you do is you take it in your hand, you wipe it all over your face, um, and then you take a wet washcloth and you just wipe it off. So remember how I said I was lazy? Um, I don't like the whole rinsing of the thing. So I love how this is just, you take it with a towel and you wipe it off, cause it takes off, it makes it seem like it's a second makeup remover. I use a warm towel, I wipe it through, and then I kind of pat my face down and it opens up my pores, right? So that's why I go in with the witch hazel and I close my pores back. Um, but yeah, that is my skincare routine. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I my skincare routine changes quite often. This is just my winter skincare routine. But to keep up with the hashtag ClearSkin2018, I wanted to get this video up and running um, first, first month. I have been loving my skin recently. It's been cooperating so nicely, and I think a lot of it has to do with these products that I've been using, and also just going to the gym, um, eating healthier if anyone knows me they know I eat like crap but I still somehow I don't know whatever and also drinking a lot of water I found that I actually do like water I used to not so drinking a lot of water has really helped and I know you're like oh everyone always says that but there's a reason why everyone says that it's because it's true so just stop being stubborn and go drink 10 gallons of water okay but yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will, um, 2018, one of my goals is to be making more videos and being more consistent. I know I say that every time, but I actually mean it. Um, I'm really going to try to be more consistent with these. And uh, so turn on my post notifications so that when I do post a video, you can see it. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed this. And then, you know, hope you have flawless skin too, okay? Because we're going to have clear skin 2018. We're in this together. It's me and you, you and me forever and ever. Amen. Thanks.